Hi, I'm Shannon Henry, an Applications Engineer here at EMA Design Automation. Throughout manufacturing, checks are performed to ensure the processes and assembly are completed accurately. The final testing measures the success of the manufacturing and assembly process. These testing requirements should be determined and implemented in the PCB layout phase of the design. In-circuit testing checks the component connections, electrical value, and component orientations, as well as some additional features. In-circuit testing can be very valuable in your design, but is it necessary? Testing can provide access to signals that would otherwise be inaccessible and allow analysis of signal performance. It can detect defects like shorts, opens, and lifted traces. It can also detect if there are any issues with parts, such as components that are missing, counterfeit, broken, or incorrectly placed. For high volume production, in-circuit testing can be used to determine the success of the assembly and in turn profitability. Designing and building a test fixture can be costly. The additional time spent by the PCB designer, test engineer, and software engineer designing and creating the fixture also needs to be considered. If you are doing a low quantity production, manual testing may be less expensive for your design. It is also important to remember that adding test points to critical traces can endanger the signal performance by creating a stub of additional trace length. If you decide that automated in-circuit testing is the route to take in your design, the next step is to designate a side of the PCB for testing. This is typically the secondary side of the board since there are less components and more accessibility. Next, you need to identify the necessary traces to probe. For full testing, a test point is required for each net, with multiple test points needed for power and ground. Once you have determined your testing requirements, you will then have to add the necessary test points. Some PCB software will automate this process for you, saving valuable time in your design process. Here are the typical test point specifications for a design. Test points are usually round and ideally with a diameter of 0.04 inches. This can be reduced slightly to 0.035 inches if necessary. Standard spacing is 0.1 inch. Following these specifications allows sufficient room for test probes. If the design is too densely routed to accommodate these spacing requirements, the spacing can be decreased in increments of 0.025 inches until test points are able to be placed. Avoid placing test points near components that are taller than 0.2 inches. Be sure to review the Surface Mount Technology Association's Testability Guidelines, TP101E, for additional information. Testing can be very beneficial to your design, but be sure to implement testing requirements during the PCB layout to reduce respins and save time. If you have any topics you want us to cover, go ahead and add them in the comments below. In the meantime, be on the lookout for more Whiteboard Wednesday sessions with the PCB design experts here at EMA Design Automation.